Hey guys, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. We are out here in New Zealand right now, and we are on our very first Red Deer Great One grind. Ooh, this guy. I have a terrible wind. You are not getting away, not one chance. Nor are you, my friend. Perfect. All right. So guys, in today's video, I am gonna show you exactly how I have set up for grinding red deer here in New Zealand, why I have chosen this reserve to do my great one grind for red deer, and what we know about red deer great ones thus far. We're gonna talk about all that today while we grind for the great one red deer. Isn't this exciting? I am so excited. Guys, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notify bell so you guys never miss another video. Definitely let me know in the comments, guys, how excited are you for this new Red Deer Great One? I am pretty darn excited. Did you think it was gonna be Red Deer? I knew. <laughs> I couldn't say anything. I couldn't. I wanted to. Initially, guys, I did set up my Great One grind in Quattro, and I did I did start to grind there, but I found that I had a really hard time finding large herds, and even when I did find them, it was really hard to access them. They were really hidden. It was a little bit on the frustrating side, if I'm very honest. I didn't, I guess I didn't get a very good shot on this red deer, did I? I didn't want to initially do my grind here in New Zealand because it has to be done at night, but the sheer insane volume of red deer here in New Zealand is what brought me over here. There are just so many more red deer here in New Zealand than there are in, in Quattro. Good job, Pooch. You did good. You did good. We got him. I guess that shot was just a little bit high. He's still dead. Perfect. So for this grind, guys, you are going to need tents and tripods. Now you can get away without the tripods when you first start and you can add them in slowly as you do earn money and you will earn a lot of money doing any kind of great one grind because man i i got up to 1.7 million just shooting whitetail so that is an awesome benefit of doing a grind you will get lots of cash over time now i will show you exactly where you will find red deer here in new zealand when you are looking for your red deer zones this is where i would recommend that you look i have four zones set up in the bay of rest one two three, four. So this definitely check all along here for red deer. This is an amazing lake. I am set up for all five zones here. They all have, they all have big red deer in them. All of them, all of them have level sevens or eights in them. And then I am set up for zone. Definitely check all the way along this part of the river and these lakes down here, sometimes a little bit down here, but not too much. Then, we will also have red deer at these two lakes right over here. If you guys are finding red deer in more than just those locations, please let me know in the comments. That is where I know them to be. So I have set up in all of those places. This is my absolute favorite lake for red deer. There are just so many of them here. Looks like I just lost my tripod. That's all right, we will put another one down. So guys, what I am running around with right now is just this. I am carrying the 303. That is my preferred weapon for hunting red deer with. Now you can use the M1, you can use any four to eight class rifle, whatever your preferred weapon is. I actually don't recommend the 6.5 because the quick kill on it is not as good as the other rifles and you will do a lot of tracking. That's just my opinion. Then I have with me, of course, my two sights, the Argus and the Hyperion, just my red deer collar. And then I am carrying with me tents and tripods so that I can always, always set up. I gotta tell you, there's a level seven red deer pretty much in almost every zone in New Zealand. It is kind of insane. There's one right there. So I have not had a nine yet. So far I have killed 62 red deer, 62 stags. Now I am only counting my stags guys. And just so you know, the game will not count your kills for you, not individual kills. There's another nice seven. So you have to do that yourself. You can get an electronic click counter on the internet. You can order one on Amazon, which is what I'm using, or you can just simply use a piece of paper and jot them down yourself, your kills, but you do have to keep track of that yourself. 
If you are one of these people who likes to keep track, it can be a little discouraging. Now the drawbacks of obviously doing your grind here in New Zealand is that it is going to be done in the dark. Red Deer drink in New Zealand from 1800 or 1830 until 21 or 2130. I better get this guy before you. Oh no, I have to reload. Things aren't going well for the lady. <laughs> Oops. Supposed to be prepared. And this is, this is what makes it very difficult. It is very hard to see. I'm not a fan of the night vision scope because the magnification on it is just terrible but I might actually try it out. We might go grab it in a minute and give it a shot and maybe... Oh, hello. You look worthy of a bullet. But if you are doing your grind in New Zealand, I do highly recommend calling the red deer out. It just makes it so much easier because they're so hard to see in the dark. And I am wearing my ghillie suit. Now guys, the ghillie suits are not functional. They're not gonna hide you any better. They are just cosmetic for fun. So I've had a lot of people ask me about that. So I just wanted to let you know. So just so you guys know, as I am starting my grind, I will only be shooting the sixes, sevens, and eights, and sometimes the fives, if that's all I'm finding. I am not gonna be shooting anything smaller. Ooh, he dead. He very dead. Anyone else? This is, it's, it's a lot harder in the dark. It is, it's not as easy. Where did that six go? Oh, five will do. Ah, uh, you dead. That is good. And the 303 is the New Zealand rifle. It is my favorite rifle and I do enjoy grinding with it. Very, very beautiful level six. Very nice. And I am actually doing my grind with my dog. The tracks right now, guys, you do have to look right at the ground to pick them up. So it is a little on the inconvenient side. I'm not a big fan of the tracking right now. So I am bringing my dog with me. Now, if your dog is fully leveled up and you use it to track, a good idea is to just press B if you are on PC or just get your dog to heal before you pick up your kill. And that way you don't have to listen to him yap the entire time you're in your harvest screen. Now you don't want to do that if you are leveling up your dog. You want him to get to the kill. Cause that's what gives them points. Now guys, if you have never seen the Great One Red Deer, here are some images on the screen right now. And let's talk about what is going on with them. So initially, the first couple of Great Ones that were found in the community, the Great One was found dead. Now we do believe that those are initial spawn Great Ones. Two alive ones have now been found in the community as well. So EW is looking into what is going on. We are speculating at this point that perhaps initial spawns are spawning dead and hopefully as you grind they are fine. We will know more as more turn up in the community. But I am still grinding for mine. Lady needs a great one red deer. I am super excited. I just... <laughs> you can't stop me. Let's keep going. But that is what's going on with them right now. Another thing I want to mention, when you are setting up for your grind, and this is for any grind, guys, you want to purchase the same tents, the same variation of tent, and the same variation of tripod because they stack. It weighs the same to carry five tripods as it does to carry one when they are the same kind. So that is, that is good advice. We got a really nice seven across the water here. 209 meters, all right. Oh, heart shot, beautiful. Now you obviously are gonna need your night vision binoculars, the Gen Zeros guys, and you will find them in the high-tech hunting pack along with the night vision scope, which I am not a fan of, but let's grab that before we head to the next zone. I love this lake, oh my goodness, I love this lake. But it is a good idea to always, always be spotting because red deer are all over the place in New Zealand. They're just, they're just everywhere. <laughs> There are lots of them. There is no shortage here. That is for sure. That's what brought me here in the first place. I actually didn't want to do my grind here because of the darkness. The other thing that I don't like about doing my grind in New Zealand are the really loud, really, uh, the insect noises. They are that one. <laughs> they can get really loud, especially when you're wearing earbuds. And I don't like them in my videos a whole lot either, but not much we can do about it. So the idea, guys, is to kill as many stags as you can. Just keep killing them and you will eventually spawn diamonds. You will spawn rares, hopefully, and hopefully, eventually, you will spawn a great one red deer. Now, my hope 
is that it won't take me thousands and thousands and thousands of kills like it did for the Great One Whitetail. It took me 4,576 kills plus another 2,700 in Layton. That's almost 8,000 kills. That's a lot. So I am really, really hoping it is not going to be that insane of a number for me this time. My luck has got to turn around. It's just gotta. <laughs> but I will be putting in the work. And there he is. Beautiful heart shot. Look at that shot. What a beautiful level seven red deer. Sometimes the sevens look better than the eights and the nines. So I'm not sure how many kills it is going to take to spawn that first diamond. With whitetail, it is usually... Well, it worked out to be one diamond for about every 100 kills in Leighton. And it was more random in Rancho. It did work out to be about the same. I could go 500 kills and not shoot any diamonds and then shoot seven in the next 300 kills. So it was kind of like that for me anyway. So guys, when you are setting up your tents and tripods, I like to put my tents about 250 meters away from the zone. And I like to put my tripod about 150 to 175 meters away. You wanna run right into your tripod and not slow down. You just wanna jump right into it. This is all about speed. So that is very important. So I did grab the night vision scope. It isn't terrible when you get up to from about 150 meters, but from further away, I just don't like the magnification of it, but I may actually use it because I can definitely see a lot better. It's just, it's tiny. We have two. Okay, I'm gonna try. This is not gonna be easy. I can barely spot this guy. There we go. Got him, got that one. Did I get the first one? Oh, I did, I got them both. So sweet, yes. All right, well maybe we will use this night vision scope. So I just wanted to share some setup tips for you guys to help you set up for the Red Deer Great One grind and I really hope you do find this helpful. Guys, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notify bell so you guys never miss a video. Definitely comment down below, guys. Let me know how excited you are to be grinding for the new Red Deer Great One and what you would like to see for the new map coming in December. I am so excited. Right long. But that is going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. I appreciate you guys so much, and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Very pretty. I love this level six rack. Very nice.